YouTube, what's going on? We're back. And today, I'm going to be talking about NBA players who will absolutely sell your parlay. Every player on this list is on the do not bet list. So I'm advising all of you, if you haven't bet on these guys before, please don't do it. I'm trying to save you guys some money. I'm trying to save you guys, you know, from, from wanting to pull your hair out watching these dudes play basketball before the season starts. Anyway, let's hop straight into the list. The first player who you should absolutely never bet on because they will sell your parlay. Oh, man, this hurts to talk about. Brandon Ingram, man, for being one of the most talented and well-rounded scorers that we have in the league. This guy gets 11 points, way more than is acceptable. Pelicans fans... If you're curious as to why you haven't been winning lately and why, you know, things haven't been going well, I'm sorry. It's because I've been betting on Brandon Ingram. If you're going to bet on his, like, assists and rebounds, I actually think that's not such a bad thing because he's an underrated playmaker, a little bit of an underrated rebounder. He could do a little bit of everything. But when it comes to betting on Brandon Ingram's points, bro, never, ever, ever. Let me actually look this up right now so I don't, I don't say nothing crazy. He averages 23 points per game ever since he's been with the Pelicans. But I swear, every time I bet on him, he averages nine points a game. The worst part about it all is, is that the line that these apps give you is usually so generously low that I'm staring at it like there is no way that Brandon Ingram cannot score 18 and a half points today. I mean, he's rested. He didn't play the last night of the back-to-back. -back. You know, it's two days later. They're playing at home. This guy drops nine points. Brandon Ingram, this guy was being compared to Kevin Durant coming out of the draft. And when you watch him play, you could see a little bit of shades of KD. He could rise up. He could shoot over almost anybody in the league. How do you finish with nine fucking points, dude? The lines that they usually put out for Brandon Ingram, look they just look so scrumptious. They look so doable. They're putting his line at like 17 and a half points, 18 points, even 20 points. 20 points flat. You're like, Brandon Ingram could do that. He's one of the best scorers in the league. I've seen him get 40-point games, 35-point games. He's able to do it all. You know what I mean? If Zion doesn't have it, you know he's going to bring it. No. no. If Zion doesn't have it, it's probably going to be Trey Murphy. It's probably going to be Dyson Daniels. It's probably going to be anybody but Brandon Ingram because you need him to score for you. The next player who will absolutely nuke your entire parlay is D'Lo, D'Angelo Russell. If you're a Lakers fan, if you've bet on this guy before, there's not much I have to say. He's either scoring 38 points with six threes, seven threes, or he's scoring four points. And the worst part about it all is that you know immediately when the game starts what the outcome will be. If D'Angelo Russell comes out in the first quarter, hits his first three, you know, gets a, a nice little transition three, maybe gets a layup as well, you already know, all right, he's getting 48 today. He's probably hitting 10 three-pointers. This is his night. If he comes out, and misses a floater or misses his first two jump shots, it's over. You might as well call prize picks and try to get a refund before they realize what's going on because at this point, you've lost your money. The thing with D'Lo is that usually they have his line as something very generous, very doable. You know, like an average role player line, 14 and a half points, 16 points. You know, he doesn't even have to go crazy to get it. But you already know with this guy, he's either going to shatter it in the first half or he's going to be in the fourth quarter with four points sitting on a bench. I've never seen this dude get, oh, let me get a cool 15 points today. Let me get a cool 15 points on an efficient four of eight shooting. Hell no, okay? This guy is going five for 28 and absolutely dicking your entire parlay. Or he's going 10 of 13 with nine of those shots being threes and, and 37 points. So the next player who will inevitably sell your parlay. Tobias Harris not only disappoints Philadelphia fans, but also disappoints sports bettors around the world. Tobias Harris 100% will sell your parlay. It doesn't even matter the context. You know what? It actually does matter the context because when you least expect him to sell it is the time when he'll sell it. It'll be the most obvious spot for Tobias Harris to have a good game. Joel Embiid is out. Tyrese Maxey is out. The coach is out. You know, half the starting lineups on a minutes restriction. Tobias Harris, clear number one option. Six points. And then when you least expect him, he's going to miraculously hit it. Joel Embiid's healthy. Tyrese Maxey, back in the lineup. Starting lineup, gets a full go today. The coach is back. They brought back Allen Iverson just because. Tobias Harris is a leading scorer of the game. I don't know how he manages to do it, but when you need him the most... You can always count on Tobias Harris not delivering for you. 
Don't bet on this guy if every single player is out of the lineup. If, if you want to go over on Tobias Harris, wait until they form a super team and, you know, he, he doesn't need to score. Then he, he'll get 20 points for you then. But this player will sell you on your parlay very similar to D'Lo. It is Michael Porter Jr. Now, just like D'Lo with MPJ, you're going to know within the first minute of the game if this guy is going to sell you today. If he hits his first two or three shots in the first quarter, then you know he's got it going and... He's not passing the ball to anybody, so you could probably lock it in that you're hitting that. But if he misses a few shots to get started, you might not even see him for the rest of the game, bro. I'm going to be honest. If you want MPJ not to sell your parlay, just go under on the assists. If it's anything over half an assist, he's, he's going under. Now, MPJ, I'm sure he's a good dude, but God bless them. I can't bet on the Porter family. I know they're going to sell me. I know they already got the inside scoop. The next player who will absolutely sell you on your parlay is Kyle Kuzma. Now, I want to be a little little nice to Kyle Kuzma because he is playing on an absolute dog shit team in the Washington Wizards. So sometimes when he does sell you, I don't want to fully put it on him because, you know, they're, they're getting blown out. The score's lopsided. I wouldn't risk getting injured or trying to do too much playing for a team like the Wizards either. So, you know, on one hand, I don't blame him. But on the other hand, it's like, bro, you got a job to do. I know Kyle Kuzma can get a double-double whenever he wants. I know he has the rebounding prowess. I've seen him do it enough times where he can easily get 10 rebounds whenever he wants to, especially on a team like the Wizards last year who barely had a, a playable center the entire season. But again, when your team sucks and you got nothing to play for, you know, you kind of don't want to be in the paint bruising with some of these big guys and... You know, you just won't try. So Kyle Kuzma, you know, unless the team gets better, I would just not bet on him because you just never know. You never know when he's going to give you 26 and 12 or when he's going to give you like 11 and 5 and just get benched at halftime because the Wizards are losing by 40 points. So Kyle Kuzma, you know, will get you back on the parlay when you're on a better team, brother. Next player that will absolutely sell your parlay is Tyler Hero. I just want Tyler Hero to understand if he's listening to this, which he's probably not. But if he is on the off chance, brother, your team needs you. You need to put the ball in the basket. Jimmy Butler's too old to be doing this. Now, being 100% transparent, Tyler Hero has not sold me nearly as bad as the guys I mentioned previously on this list. But he is extremely hit or miss. And he's on a team that needs scoring desperately or has needed scoring desperately for the last several years. Jimmy Butler doesn't have it going that night. Bam out of bio, not really a scorer. You know, he's not really contributing in that aspect. You think, okay, Tyler Hero, he has to have at least 20 points. I mean, the Heat are winning by 15. It's almost the end of the game. Who's putting in the work? Come to find out, Haywood Highsmith has 20 points. Gabe Vincent has 18 points. And Caleb Martin also scored 28. Meanwhile, Tyler Hero, 12 points, 4 of 15 shooting. Brother. When the situation is perfect, I feel like that's when he sells you. So those were the NBA players that will absolutely sell your parlay. Players that you should not bet on on the do not bet list. At the end of the day, guys, just make sure you're not doing too much with this betting stuff. I really don't even bet that much anymore. When I want to have a little more fun, yeah, I'll throw a little little, little light $10, $15, $20 bet. But just have fun watching the sport. Let me know if I missed anybody on the do not bet list. Drop your personal do not bet players that will sell your parlay list in the comment section down below. I'm curious to see who you guys personally bet on that have sold you in the past. It could be different from my list. Maybe we have some overlapping players, but nonetheless, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys on the next one.